John Thomas. And I'm Danita Thomas. Welcome back to Kid Concoctions and Contraptions. And as you can see, we have a lot of fun concoctions and contraptions for you that are going to teach your kids about science, art, and math while they're having fun. Let's start with our first one, which is Super Bubble Ooze. As you can see, it's stretchy and ooey and gooey. And it's also like a popular toy that they sell in the stores that can be very expensive, but we're going to make it for pennies. Now, the great part about Super Bubble Ooze is you can put it on the end of a straw and blow gigantic bubbles. In fact, I have to say that it was our 14-year-old son who thought of this idea. We made the bubble ooze, we loved it, we were playing with the stretch, and he had the idea of putting it on the end of the straw and blowing the bubbles. Another neat thing is a uh, commercial product, John said, is really popular. You can buy, you blow a bubble similar to, similar to this, and then you throw it away. But this one is even better because you can use it over and over and over again. Many, many, many times. And once again, a fraction of the cost of what you paid for it in the store. And let me show you how to do it. It is a science experiment demonstrating how two liquids become a solid. In one cup, I have a little bit of school glue gel. I'm just going to add two drops of our washable colorant to that. And actually, one or two drops is all you will need for this because you want it to kind of be translucent. And then on top of that, we're going to pour equal parts of liquid starch. Now we're going to stir this up, let it set for about five to ten minutes until the glue begins to absorb the starch. Reach your hands in here, start kneading it, and within about ten minutes, you will have super bubble ooze stored in a Ziploc bag or an airtight container. And the kids will have hours and hours of fun and once again, you made it for pennies. Completely reusable. I love that concoction.